All right, welcome back, my fellow fishermen and fisherwomen. We are doing a uh, episode here in Fishing Planet. Uh, it is just the realization has sunk in that I've spent too much time in RF four, and I have been impacted by the fact that uh, at this point I just enjoy European style fishing. So. Um, We'll see how that goes moving forward. But I think we are going to spend a little bit more time at the check during this episode. But the question really does is we'll actually likely hit level 12 here. The question does become what do we do next? I do notice there is this other map over here in Europe that uh, is a level 12 map. I have no idea if that's a good map to go to. Uh, not that any of the maps are necessarily terrible. but But there's all these maps we haven't even explored yet. And so it is also possible that the thing to do is just to kind of systematically go through all the maps. I think the thing that most people would do, and certainly if you were trying to be efficient, is you would go to New York at the Emerald Lake and um, you might catch some chain pickerels, some grass pickerels, some northern pike, but what you would definitely go for are the walleye, right? You would definitely go for the walleye. My understanding and my memory is that those are just really good in terms of both. I think they're really good in terms of money. And I think they're also decent in terms of XP. Although I could have that backwards. But I believe that's the case. Alright, do we have everything we need here in the backpack? We have 45 bread, which that's enough for now. 58 red worms, that's also enough for now. Sorry, bread with honey, 118. Oh yeah, we've got tons of that. So I guess the only thing we could do is um, just get a few more red worms. All right, let's, let's get this party started though. For now, we're gonna go back here and uh, make another episode here. So we're spending 300 on a one day advanced license. We're then spending $120 to travel there. So we're already minus 420 just in terms of this trip. But with the increased size of our fish net, uh, I think we'll I think we'll be able to make a profit even this first day. All right, let's check out the time, make sure that we're good. I think it always starts with um, a high time or a, 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 a hot fishing time early on this map. It feels like these early maps. The, maybe it does change day after day, but it seems like it's always the same when I've noticed it. But right, let's see what we've got. Yeah, okay, it's high, and then it's just eventually gets lower and lower. So, I don't know. Not sure why that is. Let's go try a different spot, though. Um, so, when I uh, I came in and fished just for a few minutes off stream just to check a couple things. This has been a couple days ago, I guess, since I did this. And you'll see that I added a new marker. And so, th what I think I want to do is go ahead and test this. Um, and we'll do a little fishing down here at this marker. We know how good the other spot was. If you didn't see the last time we fished here, the other markers, you can see it from here still, but it's way down there, which if we don't catch some good fish down here, or if it seems like it's really slow, we might actually go back down to that one. We'll see. But for now, let's just go ahead and get some lines in. And the whole reason why I came down here and ended up finding this place was I was actually trying to catch the pike. There actually are young pike here. But the problem is, oh, that is that, okay, I got you. The problem is all there are are young pike. There's not any normal pike. So at least in my testing, it seems like I was doing better in both XP and money going for these, uh, fish using the, the feeder feeder rigs instead of spin fishing for pike on one but if you want to catch young pike here this down here is the spot to do it although you want to throw to the right sort of along the shore i'll show you when i'm not holding a don't have a line out let's pull this fish in yeah, so we just need to see, like, what, how do the quality of the fish look down here and what's the bite rate. 
before we decide if we want to stay here. There's a, a Prussian carp. That's definitely one of the fish we want, especially if we can catch trophies. Looks like another Prussian to me. So two Prussians in a row, decent money, decent XP. And let's just put these right back in there. Yeah, but if you want to go for the young pike, really just spin fishing right over here with the those, uh, I think they're the one third ounce gold casting spoons, whatever those basic spoons are that you get. And I was just doing straight retrieval like one speed straight, straight retrieval, sort of coming, bringing it back in towards the shore. And I would occasionally get one. Again, they just seem to be such low, uh, both XP and money that I just didn't seem like it was worth it to give up a line going for those. But if you want a little variety, I suppose that's something you could do. Um, but to me, this map, if you're low level and you're wanting to do more feeder or bottom fishing that's the way to go on this map and it's it's quite good if you're wanting to do spin fishing i i can't imagine that it's not significantly better at texas just going for the uh striped bass striped bass or are they smallmouth? maybe they're smallmouth bass in texas i can't remember Young common carp. Well, it looks like next fish, just about no matter what it is, we will level up here. Unless it's uh, so bad that it gives us negative experience. I can't imagine that we can get any more positive experience and not go ahead and hit level 12. But let's look at our fish net. So we're already at $134 and we're three fish in. So it's not going to be hard to get a... a even a day one profit here is going to be pretty easy to do. And I don't know how long we'll go this video, but um, we've got this huge fish jail now. So 33 pounds of fish here is a lot of fish and, and a decent amount of money. The maximum fish we can catch, catch is eight pounds. So there still are some limitations. Like even if we have the gear for it, we're not going to be able to, at this point, go for like some of the larger catfish um, that might be available to us at some of the water bodies we have. We wouldn't be able to keep them. They're too big. So there still are limitations. You have to just kind of keep that in mind on what fish you're going for. And that's yet another Prussian. We have found a, and that's a trophy too, big money. All right, so that opened up uh, Ghent, Netherlands. I guess I need to do a little research to see if how you know if that's a decent map. We also got bloodworms, which I'd be really curious. And there's there's another nano spoon, so I think again that's probably what we want for walleye. Um, oh, caster maggots. Uh, a new case. We can take a third rod out now. I suppose that's kind of cool, but we still don't have a way to we still don't have a way to fish with more than two because we can't set more than one down we just have the single rod stand and i think that's one of the things i would look at if i was starting out in fishing planet and i wanted to hit it really hard um i might and, and I, so like if i was going to get one dlc or something just to kind of jump start my progress obviously you you want to pick a DLC maybe that comes with a pond pass that's going to allow you to go catch fish. I guess also you would need equipment that allows you to catch that fish. So maybe it's like, you know, pike in Michigan or walleye in New York or whatever. If you're low enough level, like, you know, or maybe you get the pond pass that allows you to go catch a big carp for a week. I mean, imagine how much XP you would get doing that. 
But the other thing consideration I might have is looking to see the DLC you did purchase if you were just going to purchase one. Getting one that came with a at least a rod stand that allowed for three. I believe the one that comes with the carp pine pass, I believe that one actually comes with maybe one that allows four, if I'm not mistaken. But especially if you're into bottom fishing, obviously, it just opens up so many more options to uh, increase the, oh, this is a decent fish here, increase the amount of lines you have in the water. Yeah, I think this spot is pretty good. I mean, I'm not going to say it's better than that other spot we've been fishing in. But those Prussians add up both in XP and money, especially if you mix in some trophies. And we've caught a high percentage of those. And now if we're also occasionally catching these commons, which are also really good, these young commons, then um, it seems like it's a pretty good deal. I know some of you that uh, have been watching this video series, and I do appreciate the support, by the way. But some of you have also been keeping up with my Russian Fishing 4 leveling series, and I'm really at a uh, crossroads on that. I'm enjoying doing that series, but I'm high enough level in that series that I just don't know how much more I want to go. I, and, and what I'm thinking about doing is... Um, either ending that series or sort of switching gears with it, still rotating through a lot of the lower level lakes and, and all that and rivers, but switching over and doing it on my main account. Um, so it really at that point wouldn't be as much about leveling, just about finding good spots and strategies for going for different fish. So I don't know. I still may do a few more episodes of the current account which is also a free-to-play account on that one, just like this is a free-to-play account in Fishing Planet. But, you know, at some point you get to a, to a place where it's like, okay, I'm, <laughs> if I'm not careful, I'm going to end up with another. I've already got two, in, in RF4, I've got two main accounts. And now that they've made the change where you can't send gear back and forth between accounts, even if you do have premium, it sort of makes you makes me hesitate a little bit about how it makes it a little less appealing, I guess, to put too much time and energy into alt accounts with that change. And there's still plenty of trophies and, and other things that we haven't been, you know, really gone for on my main account that, you know, in fact, I've, I've caught way more low level trophies on this leveling account because we've just, you know, I have a lot more knowledge about RF4 now. And so we are able to do pretty well even on a low level account. So I don't know, we'll see. This is an interesting fish. This is probably the fish that has fought me the most on this lake. So I'm hoping for something good, a decent young common or a decent mirror carp is what I would expect here, unless it's like a trophy tench. I don't know how big a trophy tench would be and I don't even know if there are trophy tench here, but that's the other possibility is we haven't really caught big tench here. That's a young mirror carp. That's what I was expecting. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, I'd say bread with honey is doing really well down in this spot. Bread worms might have felt like they were doing a little better in the other spot or also are doing really well in the other spot. At times, bread with honey was pretty slow in the other spot. When it did catch fish, they were good fish, but we're already up to almost 10 pounds. So I don't know, you know, um, I really, I really don't know. I've also thought about doing a leveling experience through the fishermen instead of free to play fishing planet, actually playing through the fishermen and kind of highlighting what that sort of standalone experience is like. Um, it's basically the same content that's in here, although it's just packaged differently and the progression is a little different. But that could be pretty fun too. The problem is that at least my perception is that the fisherman is a little bit of a 
a dead game. I don't, I don't really know if that game is going anywhere. It didn't get the update of the newest lake when it came out. So, I just don't know. Another nice fish here on red worms. And we're just going to have to focus on catching it before we worry about trying to catch whatever's on our bread with honey. That is a nice tench. And that's what we want. Look at that. $90, 46 XP. That was just really good. Let's see if we can not lose this fish now. Oh, we did good. That tench, though, let's, let's get this line back out there as soon as we pull this fish in. And then before we put our, um, before we put our red worms back out, we'll take a look the other thing we we could do let's get bread with honey back out 52 the other thing we could do we could see if any of those new baits are available to us i wouldn't mind um picking up the blood worms or the casters and seeing if they sort of catch the same fish here so let's look at that tench though it's our first tench of the day 46 xp and 90 bucks i mean that is by far other than that trophy prussian and it's actually pretty similar to the trophy Prussian, but other than that, that's our, our best, best catch so far. Um, they do sell pinkies. Huh. Can we get those level nine? Yeah, we can get pinkies. They're a little pricey. What do we add on our, um, our fish net? Yeah, we've already made $580. We're already in the positive. Now, pinkies would probably be a little cheaper if we weren't at this local store, but let's just get 25 of them and test them out. But they don't sell in this store, at least. They... Oh, we can get semolina now, too. That says that catches carp as well, so we probably should try both of those baits. I know it's spending a little bit of money, but we're up to 14000 I mean, we should be saving money pretty aggressively, but, I, you know, instead of leaving and then coming back, let's, let's just stay here. All right, let's try the pinkies first. Pinkies. Why are they called pinkies? Maybe they really are called pinkies, but that's just, I've said pinkies a lot since seeing, that, seeing those in the store, and I feel a little funny about that. All right, so here is pinkies on the number six hook, and then we'll switch bread with honey as soon as... I think it actually has a fish on it right now, but let's be sure that the bread with honey, honey line actually does have a fish. But once it catches a fish, then we will um, switch that one over to semolina, I think, just to test a couple of different things out here. I, I remember hearing people say that just like red worms and bread with honey, as well as night crawlers, which you have to be a little higher level to do those, but that that was, it's hard to beat those basically. All right, pretty quick bite on pinkies here. First fish off pinkies is a really small fish. Is that a perch? Yep. That's the largest perch we've caught, but it is a smaller fish. I really think, I don't know. I thought there was a fish getting on that line, the bread with honey, but I think we just need to be patient with it. I think semolina would work at Texas too, trying to catch the buffalo. Semolina and dough balls, I think, are both pretty good for the buffalo, if I'm not mistaken. I bet we end up losing the bait on that bread with honey. I feel like a fish has been nibbling on it, and I just don't see the line moving, so I don't know. So the old net we had, the fish net we had before this one, we would be just about full now. I think we had, we were up to what, about 15 pounds maximum. And we've more than doubled that now at 33 pounds. If you don't know the difference in these fish jails versus the keep nets, 
we can't uh, get rid of a fish once we've had once once we've said accept it. Once we've once we've clicked keep it, we can't get rid of it. So um, there are more options, especially as you get close to filling your net up. There's more options with the fish net, but it was such a big increase. Um, we just decided to go ahead and use the fish gel for now. Especially fishing here, I feel like, you know, 33 pounds is just so much here. So we can just kind of keep everything or make the decision on the front end, I guess. All right, let's try the semolina. Again, this is on the size four hook, which is what we've been using for bread with honey. And let's just see what, if anything, that does here. It should be fine. It should catch carp species. Um, so I would expect it to work pretty good. And I have not been impressed with pinkies in terms of like the amount of perch it's caught. Perch and roach, I guess. Maybe, was it two roach and one perch or two perch and one roach? Sounds like a bad joke, but it was one of those two combinations. So we may switch back to red worms on this one pretty fast. All right, there's Semolina. Let's see what we have here. Looks like a bream. Not bad. You know, I'm kind of tempted to go back to bread with honey and maybe we can try semolina on the other line on the size six hook, especially if it's going to catch bream like that. We don't need the size four hook for that. Let's see if we can get another fish off pinkies though first. I guess we could look at the fish page to even see if they have trophy silver bream, trophy tench here. They may not in this low level lake. Trophy Roach, I like that. Mm. 
Yeah, I think I'm going to switch back to Red Worms. Red Worms is just, seems like it's just too good here to, compared to what we've caught with, caught with pinkies. We caught one common roach, one perch. I think that's it. Yeah. Oh, I meant to try semolina on that one, not red worms. I forgot already. Yeah, it's just the common silver bream and the common tench. I figured we weren't able to get trophy silver bream and tench here. Russian carp again. I think the bait was eaten or lost from the red worms. All right, we're going to try semolina on the size six hooks. See how that seems. And I really just stumbled upon this spot, which, you know, so basically this was the second spot I fished at, not counting the young pike which kind of makes me think sort of like Texas. There might not be, I mean, there's probably a lot of good spots in this lake. It's a pretty forgiving place, it seems like. The main thing we've just been trying to do is, is get into the, at least the somewhat deeper areas in fact, I can show you on the map, it's interesting, without even really meaning to, when I cast out and caught a trophy in this spot and then realized that that's what it was, I, um, I looked on the map to put the marker down and saw that we had just happened to cast into this sort of like one little spot where it gets a little deeper. There's another Prussian, I believe. Let me pull up the map real quick. Yeah, so if you see this mark, it's like just in or just past this spot that is a little deeper. And I feel like that's maybe why this spot ended up being pretty decent. It's kind of a race to fill your net because you know the longer the day goes on, the the less hot the fishing it gets, at least the way that the 
chart works right now. First thing in the morning, it's really hot, and then it slowly gets worse and worse. The other thing we haven't tried that I guess we could try here at some point is night fishing. See if the tinch bite increases a little bit. Especially with night crawlers, it seemed like folks were targeting tinch that way. Well, I guess I still think overall red worm and bread with honey are probably king of the baits that we're able to use here at this point. Just in terms of bite rate and just consistently catching decent fish. Let's see what Semolina caught here, though. Uh-oh, it got off just at the wrong time. Yeah, so we threw right in front of the marker there and we got down to nine feet. So I do think the marker is just on the other side of the ledge or the, it's up on the ledge a little bit. perch that was a fast bite and that is a decent fish on red worms here. Tinch. I like it. Big money, big, big XP. Oh, yeah. Since we've been throwing into the hole instead of just past it, we're getting a real fast bite rate. Prussian? Trophy Prussian. Wow. Well, this is something small, isn't it? Also oppression.
I hate when I do that. That might have been too close. Yeah, it's getting back up to higher elevation, it's 8.7. All right, I think next fish, fish we'll go ahead and wrap this one up. And I'll do a little research, see what other options we have. I don't think we'll stay here too much longer. I think we'll go try something else. Just have to decide what. Nice that we got both both lines with a fish here. All oh, those two small ones. And this is gonna put us at about 25 pounds, a little over 25 pounds. Silver, I think, or is that a roach? Roach. So, we ended up getting, yeah, over 1,100. We'll go ahead and skip till morning. We'll extend stay just in case we fish here more, but 1100, not bad. That puts us up to $14,768. And uh, yeah, this I, I'm really enjoying this, this Czech fishery. Um, we've kind of caught all the fish that are available here at this point. Oh, what do you know? It's a different pattern. That's actually good, except for this little gap here in the middle. It's a pretty good, pretty good fishing day. All right. As always, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.